Welcome to the Zone! In today's Monster Manual entry, we'll be discussing one of the most prolific mutants within Yantar, the Zombie. If you guys enjoy the video, feel free to like and subscribe for more stalker-related content. Without further ado, let's get started. Out of all the fates awaiting unsuspecting stalkers within the Zone, none are more insidious and horrifying than slowly losing your sanity and becoming a zombie. Commonly seen patrolling around Yantar and areas around Siamiters, Zombies that formerly belonged to a variety of factions can be seen shambling about with their weaponry. Scientists studying zombies have hypothesized that the creatures seen within the zone have an estimated IQ similar to that of a Neanderthal. While they are still highly intelligent compared to most of the other mutants within the zone, what makes the zombified stalker such a threat is the ability to use weaponry and the lack of pain receptors in the brain. Zombies have been seen to survive multiple gunshot wounds to the chest and still continue with their mission. While it is generally accepted by scientists that the zombies do not feel pain due to their damaged brains, some zombies will moan as they are shot saying, it hurts, it hurts, leaving some to believe that the zombie itself can, in fact, feel pain. When traveling around the zone, stalkers should take great care to discern friend from foe, and this goes doubly so in zombie territory. Many unsuspecting stalkers have been led to their deaths due to a sudden zombie ambush. Some of the most horrifying cases of these ambushes occur when a group of zombies sit around a campfire or when they walk around on patrol together. The zombies will often mutter to each other nonsense statements or even laugh. If a stalker sees a group of what appear to be his faction soldiers slowly walking while laughing at jokes that make no sense, it's a good bet that they're zombies. While it is unknown why the zombies engage in this activity, it has been suggested that the zombies are simply engaging with the last remnants of their human behavior. Others have suggested that this activity is more devious in nature, and that the zombies are intelligent enough to set traps for aloof stalkers. Zombies are created when the stalker comes too close into contact with a psi field, emanated by a psi emitter, such as the Brain Scorcher in Lab X-19 or the famous Miracle Machine in Lab X-16. When a human walks too close to one of these fields without some sort of psi protection, the fields begin to immediately affect the victim. Stalkers who have survived close encounters with the fields have described massive headaches, similar to migraines. As they moved closer to the emitter, they began to feel their brains boil or melt inside of their own heads. The lucky few that were able to escape the field report that important information about their lives has been temporarily forgotten. This can be benign as simply forgetting what the current date is, or much more serious with some stalkers forgetting their own names. It should also be noted that controllers will use a similar method of psychic attack to create their own personal bodyguards of zombified stalkers. Almost every faction has lost some of its members to zombification via the Psy emitters, save Monolith. Monolith members seem to be immune to the effects of the Psy fields, which is assumed to be due to the intervention of the Sea Consciousness. While Monolith members do not have to fear becoming zombies outright, it has been seen that Monolith soldiers who have been indoctrinated for long periods of time can begin to break down. While they keep their combat abilities, much of their humanity is lost, including their ability to critically think, or even speak in some cases. While this zombified fate is all but guaranteed for Monolith members, it does seem that it takes much longer than normal. While zombies seem to be driven by animal instinct, as Professor Sakharov noted, they seem to retain their skills in operating weaponry and other mechanical devices, like doors. In combat, the zombies behave with no regard for their own well-being and will simply charge at the target while hip-firing their weapons. As previously noted, while the zombie stalker is highly resistant to physical trauma, they can be killed quite easily via headshots. Zombies that receive only a partial headshot can be seen going into a seizure-like fit on the ground until they inevitably get up again, or are finally put down. Any weapon will work for dispatching zombies, as a single hit to the head will usually be enough to bring one down. While it's possible to kill a zombie by damaging the torso, the amount of trauma required is extremely difficult to produce. Multiple magazines of 7.62x39 to the chest are required to kill a zombie. Explosives are highly effective against zombies as they do not perceive the danger presented by a grenade or bomb. Due to their predictable movements and slow shambling about, zombies are best picked off from a distance using a weapon with an optic attached. 
if no long-range weaponry is available, engaging from close range is possible using suppressed weaponry. Because of their slow reaction time, zombies will usually not notice a lone stalker unless they directly see him. It should be noted, however, that many stalkers have alerted zombies simply by standing too close to a freshly killed one. Zombified stalkers seem to investigate any sign of their comrades falling, and when one sees a corpse, it will immediately begin to quickly move and examine the situation. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more stalker related content. As always, until next time, guys, I'll see you in the zone.